and wants to break the ice. ice. What was the the difference for you guys as a defensive unit there in that that second half versus the first half? Um, I mean, the first first half is kind of sent for the second half. Um, just really just trying to stay focused on our keys and our technique. Um, in the first half, everything was kind of things were working, things were rolling. Um, it was a little they put do a punch, we punch back. It was kind of going back and forth. Um, in the second half, um, it's kind of the same thing. They get through a punch, we do a punch back, going back and forth, back and forth. And in the end, um, it's just they made, they made a big play. Honestly. What was Jimbo's message to you guys after the game? Um, honestly, um, I mean, his message is, okay, we, um, we played a good team. Got to give him that type of respect and use this as a learning curve. Use this to learn from our mistakes and keep moving forward, keep our head high. And from how he sees how I see it as well, we are a really, we're making a, we're being the makers of a really good football team. There is a football, great football team on this team. And we gotta keep learning and keep pushing forward. What do you learn from this game? What do you take away from today? Um, things you can um, get is like misalignments, miss keys, um, certain techniques you have to take, things like that, honestly. What did Miami do different on those last two drives, of back-to-back 75-yard touchdown drives? Um, I mean, from my perspective as a Dean lineman, um, they kind of did a little bit of the same um, things. Um, I mean, I'm an interior lineman, so I'm going to be more, more focused on the center and the guards. Um, they try to get, from what I'm thinking, to try to get better reads on who's blitzing, what gap, man, and uh, Derek, when you guys were so successful, <clears throat> so successful in the first half, and you know holding them for that much yardage at all, is it hard to maintain your focus or shift your focus in the second half when they do start moving the ball and picking up some third downs? Um, no, I'm going to the going to halftime. Our mindset is like it's still zero zero. We got still act like it's still anybody's game. That's the type of mindset supposed to go in. Even if we're, if someone's winning or losing, got to keep pressing it on, keep pushing on, keep pushing on. How challenging is it when they do pick up a third and long for you guys to regroup and gather yourself and, and get back out there for any set of downs? I mean, in football, nothing is ever, nothing's ever perfect. Anything can happen. So you just got to be ready for anything, honestly. How confident were you when you guys got that score late with a minute and a half to go that you guys would, defense would be able to go out and stop them? And, and how frustrating is it to not be able to do that? Um, yeah, after that, that touchdown, we're, I, I feel like everybody on our sideline was really pretty amped up. And everyone was thinking that we're gonna end this. We're end this now in this last drive. And um, when it didn't happen, I feel like it really hurt a lot. It really just messed with a lot of people. Honestly, it hurt a little bit because no one wants to lose. Honestly, no one wants to lose a tight game like that. But you just gotta keep learning from it. As a team, how do you just keep your heads up after this? Um, I mean, every single any type of loss, you gotta. Any, like anybody who loses the game, you gotta. But there's a, that one time, that one period, we just, just like, oh, I lost, oh, I lost, and then I, honestly, you gotta keep, we gotta look at your mistakes. Like, okay, this is what we did, this is what we could have done, this is how we gotta make it right. And after that, you gotta keep moving forward because there's stuff for ball to play, and that's what we have to do. So we can't keep dwelling on this game or the same, <laughs> the same. Uh, events that happen next week and next week and next week. So you gotta keep pushing forward. If you dwell in, if you dwell in the past, you'll be living in the past. Do you think you guys have made mistakes that have caused you guys to lose these games, or do you think the other teams have just made more plays? Or um, <clears throat> um, just to throw out there, um, I feel like it's kind of. Uh, both, because um, honestly, because the Miami is a good football team. They're right on our side, their side. We make big plays. They make big plays. Um, from my spirit, I don't know if there was any mistakes that were made. There could have been, but at the end of the day, it wasn't. It wasn't the thing we had, could have done wasn't done. So there's got to be something we can learn to fix that. Again, thank, thank you. you. Jack Bush said last year, you guys had a heartbreaking loss over this against North Carolina, but came back the next week and played really well. There's the season strong. How did you guys do that? And, then, and what do you think is the key to doing that again? It's kind of the kind of same thing. It's like really taking any loss. You got to realize like, what needs to be fixed. We got to get it done. Simple as that.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.